Okay. So I have these cards. You guys probably can't see them. Fuck. Enhance. The fuck? The fuck do you mean enhance? Well, that didn't do anything. Here we go. Yeah. But guys, I'm I'm actually kind of curious though, because I don't remember. I'm trying to remember if there are any other season pass cards that I'm missing. Who else am I missing, guys? Hat Monkey, Wave, Daredevil, Thor, and Fury. How do I add more? Can I just just have to do edit? Is that the only way I can do it? Is to edit? I know I need to get um Daredevil, right? Daredevil, right? Oh God. Oh, what about Kang, right? Coach Fury. How is Coach Fury? A, was he a season pass card? Jane Foster was a season pass card. Okay. She actually a fucking season pass. Well, I know I need Daredevil in here because I hadn't put him in here yet. Wave, Daredevil, Thor, and Fury. Okay. There's Daredevil. I already, I already have Wave, but I'll do um, Thor and Fury. Are we archiving the collection? Huh? I don't know what that means. All right, well, this is it then, huh? Yeah, why are these cars so small, man? I'm not a fan of these cars being so small like this. Not a fan. Shit! That took a lot longer than I was expecting it to. Oh, okay. All right, guys, so this is what we're doing. We are ranking by tears the 11 season pass marvel snap cars that have come out so far i know that next month is going to be the nebula car we're not going to worry about that right now though um we're going to worry with what we got right now and we might have to do a little bit of rearranging and i've done a tier list before so i'm a professional at this um so we're gonna do this i think the best way we can possibly do it um and it's gonna start by cards what ranking uh, current meta or all time? I'm going to take those into um, consideration. I'm not going to do all time and I'm, I'm going to do both at the same time. You know, for instance, Silver Surfer. Let's start with Silver Surfer. Because I think we should start with some of the best cards, I think, right? Silver Surfer out of, out of this list. I feel like is I hated it when he first came out and, and, and when he first came out, it was like I had just started playing Marvel Snap. So I was seeing Silver Surfer everywhere. This dude came out and he was giving everybody plus three like and they didn't even need it. That card, I think, honestly, I feel like it's S tier even even though they nerfed it, even though they nerfed it, this card is still S tier. No, uh, we can we can have we can have viewers input. You guys can try to sway me, change my fucking mind. But that card to me is still a good. You didn't like the nerf, to be honest. I think that that card is S tier simply because of the fact that it's just so fucking good. Like, we're gonna have more controversy on which cards are better. To be honest, um, you know what? Let's let's start from the left now, though. I know I said I go with the best. But let's start from the left. If they had to nerf it, it's S tier. I mean, it, it was S tier. Now I feel like it's A tier, but I think because of how good it was in the beginning, it was it's just such a good card. You know what I mean? Like it was so fucking good. It had it had to be nerfed. It was too fucking good. Um, so I think that that's a great starting point right there. Now, now if we're talking about cards that I think are good but they have to be played along with other cards obviously surfer has to as well black panther is a very good card especially in an arnim zola deck but in playing with wong which a lot of these cards now that i think about it they don't make a whole lot of ongoing cards for season pass it's kind of crazy panthers a or b i think panther is a fantastic card he does he does he does a lot of good stuff 
Is he better than Surfer? No, because Panther's a card that like you have to pull him and he, he works on a good combo. Um, I don't think, what did he, did he, was he something else before? Did he get changed to this? Did he get changed to, to being a, um, a five, four or was he something else at one point? Is this, is this now or what? You have no idea. I don't know what he was before. Retrospective or how it affected the matter then. Yeah, to me, it's, we take both into perspective. And you know what? I'm gonna change this from S tier to, dang it. What's the, what's the mutant class in like Marvel that's like super crazy? I forgot what it's called. Um, what is it called, man? Omega, Omega level. Yes. Omega level. <laughs> These are Omega level cards. And who's like the weakest, what's the weakest thing in Marvel Snap? A, because he um, is very telegraphed. Oh yeah, he's very telegraphed. So is Silver Surfer though. Think about it, the Silver Surfer is also very telegraphed, you know? The weakest card in the deck, Hit Monkey. Muggle. I need something that's like super weak in Marvel, like in Marvel, period. You know what I mean? Muggle. I'm like, why would I put Muggle? What? Why would Muggle is like a total different genre, man? <laughs> no, we're not doing Umbaku. I love, I love Umbaku. I'm Umbaku. Suffer is turn six card though. He is a turn six card though, but he's very predictable. You're like, I know what's about to happen. I mean, Black Panther's a turn five card, but he's he can be predictable. Crystal, yo, that's you. You know what? You're, you might be, you might be fucking right. <laughs> Crystal tier. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this level. I'll make a level. All right, all right, all right. So next up is Hit Monkey. Now I will say this: I think Hit Monkey's not very fantastic. I don't think he's, I don't think he's shit level either. I think he's kind of a B level. I think he can be good. But he's, but he's not like, he's not, how do I want to say this? He's not, he's not broken or anything. You know what I mean? He's definitely not broken. You think hit monkey is better than Panther? I mean, the thing about black Panther is you get the combo, you do it with hit monkey. He's kind of, you have to play a certain type of way. Hit monkey is certainly a, you think hit monkeys a. Hit monkey needs a lot of planning and you have to know how to play that. It, it can be very tough. Honestly, this is a cop out. It depends on the meta. Um, this is, this is true, but I feel like hit monkey just, I don't know. Black Panther was great in its meta. I mean, I think black Panther is great now, but to me, hit monkey is good, but also bad. I think I think he's a good mid card. He hit monkey came out and he ain't hitting as well as other cards were. Think about think about like this. Black Panther and Arnold Zola is still a good deck. You know what I mean? And it's easy to do. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's it's fun. Now now we're getting to a little controversial thing because Miles Morales. I, I hate that we're going down like this, but I feel like Miles Morales ain't crystal tier. Is he though? Oh, uh, you know what? Miles Morales, out of all the season pass cards, he might actually be down there. If we have to have something down there, Miles Morales is, he's only in movement decks. And yeah. <laughs> Shit, monkey. My God. He's a good card, but only in one deck. Exactly. And, and I don't think he's game changing. You know, let's look, if you look at these cards as a whole, look at all the season passes card. Cause don't forget, we're not comparing these cards to all the cards in Marvel snap. We're comparing these cards to their, to their 11 counterparts and how good they were when they came out. You know what I mean? One cost five. That is nice. You're right. You think fury is bottom. I think fury is actually like a C tier card. If you ask me, Fury's like a C tier card, or could be a B. Fury can save people in some, and he's a he's a five seven, and he saves. He gives you 
whatever he was. Well, he gives you random randomness. And he's great in Devil Dino decks. You know, I, I think he's good. We think Miles is better than Fury. Really? Fury is great in a Devil Dino deck. Yo, when I step up in the place, make sure you step correct. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I think Fury, like Miles Morales is only good in like one deck type. Nick Fury can be used in a few different ones. Bad stats for costs, fills hand with inconsistent shit. Yeah, but you know, one of the most inconsistent decks is Devil Dinosaur and Devil Dinosaur is still a good deck. Colson is better than Fury for Dino. I mean, you, you put both of them in there. I I don't think he's a bad card. I don't think he's I don't I think he's better than Miles Morales. You guys actually think Miles Morales is better than Nick Fury? Honestly, they could both go down here on Crystal Tier for all I care. Miles and Morales is a nice for Miles and Jug combo. I mean, yeah, but you're, you're, you're playing with a movement deck, you know? And you gotta have those cards in your hand, you know? Compared to all these cards here, you think, you think Miles is better than Fury? I just feel like I rarely see Miles Morales because no one play, no one, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like either one of these cards, really. Miles is only a one cost card if you if you um move something the last turn though. That's the only thing about it. Nick Fury gives you the potential to play some random six cost card on turn. It, it honestly adding in that 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 uh that value of you know in unpredictability is good, right? It's not Miles time yet, so currently he is crystal tier. There are much better five cost options in Dino than Fury. Okay. I'll take out, you know, you know what? You know what you, you know what? You know what? You're fuck you're you're right. You're right. You know what's the better card in a dino deck than Nick Fury? Dino Dino. You know what? You're right. Dinosaur is on turn on turn five. Just saying, dinosaur is. Um, so you know what? I'll I'll get rid of I'll put Nick Fury down here below Miles. I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah, Di Dino Dino is better in a Dino deck than Nick Fury on turn five. <laughs> um, but Modok Eagles S or A. Um, I will tell you this. I want to put Modok as a as an Omega level, but I think it's gonna have to be A. I personally, I fucking love Modok. Out of all these cars that are here, Modok is my favorite. But he's gonna he's gonna be an A. He's got to be an A. I can't put him up here because even though Modok does some things good, he doesn't do what Silver Surfer did and some other cars on this list did when they came out. Modok did bring Discard back, and I could put him like in between these two. But he's just not, he's just, you know. The real question is where do, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about order later. We are currently winning with him. This is true. This is true. But thing about Surfer though, is that we're talking about, we're talking about overall. And Surfer has to be Omega level because when that card came out, that card changed the fucking game. That, that card was ridiculous. Modok is fantastic now, definitely. But I feel like you can also almost compare him to a Black Panther, right? Almost, right? I'm just saying, you kind of can, right? Isn't Surfer Move a sleeper deck run? Probably. Okay, so putting more emphasis on the past. Yeah, you have to with this. Because I mean, Modok. Okay, if if you compare, let's let's think about these cards in their prime, right? You got Silver Surfer in their prime, way better than any card on this list. <laughs> Silver Surfer in their time in in, in in his prime, way better. Modok in his prime is okay, you know, it's a good card. But Silver Surfer is bananas. You know what I mean? Like that car was doing some ridiculous shit. Now he's not doing that good right now, but Modok didn't have to be nerfed. You know, Modok's been the same since he came out. It's a good solid car. You know what I mean? 
Zabu would give it a run. Zabu, I feel like, was a good card, but I don't think it was as good as Silver Surfer when it first came out. You know what I mean? You don't think? Well, do you guys? You know what? That's that's. You know what? Let's. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. I don't. I, I honestly can't tell. We'll we'll get to that discussion when we get to it. But now I think that, that I think putting Modok on A tier is good. I think putting Modok on A tier is good. You you guys can just you guys you guys can talk about it. But let's 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 discuss. Okay. So now Nimrod. Nimrod, I think is honestly. These two cards came out kind of back to back, and I feel like these cards are kind of doing their thing. They're there. I don't. I think Nimrod is B. I think he's B. You know, I think I think Nimrod's a B card. Um, I think he can be good, but yeah. Oh yeah, Mon Hit Monkey is better than Nimrod, but I think he's still a B card. I think they're both B. Or you know what? I hate to do it, but I, I will put him on C tier. Because Nimrod hasn't done anything, really. You know what I mean? Like, Nimrod is a card. The only cards that help you get Nimrod out early, Jubilee could potentially get him out early. whoop did he doo da Um... I guess if you do have Lockjaw, you could Lockjaw him out early. But at that point, it's really silly because Lockjaw Nimrod would not make any sense. Um, if you're going to be playing Electro, he costs three. Um, and you'll be able to play him on the next turn. But, I mean, is that still enough? Playing him on turn four? I don't think so. Um, and then you don't you can only play one card um, every turn, which is not fun. Even though you got destroyed, maybe you can get rid of it. You never know. But... Nimrod to me just ain't it ain't hidden. You know what I mean? It, it's cool, but it ain't hidden. Huh. So I say again, it's an okay card. Anyways, I don't think it's as good as Hitmonkey though. You know what I mean? So wave. Wave? I would put up here in the A tier. Wave is just a card that just molds into so many things. You think Wave is S? You think Wave is S tier? I think, I think A tier. It does create archetypes. You didn't know Wave was season pass card? Yeah, Wave was like season. Was it the first season pass card? I feel like it was the first one. You can put Wave in almost any deck and make it better. I do agree with that. I can tell you this. It definitely ain't nowhere below A. Is it is it Omega though? You know what? You know what? For the sake of consistency, this this card since it's come out, I don't think it's changed, and it's been so much. It's been so good. Not even just Death Wave. Anything Wave is a good card. It helps you strangle whole decks and everything. I think it's a good deck. Oh yeah, it's definitely better than Panther, and and it's definitely gonna be over here if it goes anywhere. But is it up here with Silver Surfer? You know what? I'm gonna put it up there. I think I think it works out. It, it's good for Galactus. It's good for Death Wave. It's good for just getting anything big out. I think it I think it goes up top. I think it does go up top. And we got three more cards. And this motherfucker right here, Zabu is kind of just like to me. Zabu, Zabu. Ooh, it's so tough, right? Zabu is definitely Omega when it came out. This car was so fucking good. It was so fucking good. Honestly, the deck that I made it to like nine, the 90s with was Zabu. It was a Zabu deck. Such a good, such a good card, man. When you pull this card, everything changed. It was so fucking broken. And now it can still be good, but it's just not as good as it was, man. The car was too good. Yeah, it's, it's definitely A now. It can still be it can still be a, a force. Man. Spider-Man plus absorption man combo broke the game. Yeah, that. Uh not even that. Not even just that. Like I was doing my whole Dracula bullshit. That shit was fantastic, man. You gotta love it. Okay, now we're getting down to some cards that aren't gonna be that hard to like do. I think Thor is a sleeper. 
I think Thor's a sleeper card. I think he's really good. I think I think he's really good. I think Thor's a really good card. If we got Modok up here in Black Panther, I think I think he's a really good card. And it's not just because I'm planning right now. I I would I've wanted Thor for a long time, but he's a three cost card that gets you plus six later if you pull Mjolnir. And and that's for each time Mjolnir gets activated. Thor is definitely slept on. That card is pretty good. B now, A next week, probably the most meta flexible card. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really good card. Because if you have one, because think of, I want you guys to imagine this. Imagine a card that stays weak throughout the game. Can't get Shang-Chi'd, right? But as soon as you need it to, you can buff that son of a bitch plus six to 10. Plus 16 if you got two, two um hammers getting triggered. Um, it's it's just a fantastic car if you ask me. You can lend, you can like plus six is a lot. That's a that's a big ass buff to a card that's already a three four. Like that's and the hammers don't cost anything. So if as long as you pull them, you're good. Um, as far as Daredevil, Daredevil I feel like is a B tier card. Um, he's, he's good. I mean, he, he just works with Professor X. That's really it, right? I think, I think he's good. I think he's, I don't think he's as bad as Nimrod though. I think he definitely works well when you need him to. He's a very good knowledge based car. Yep. Professor X Galactus. When you, when you need to know what's going to happen. Yeah. He's not a very powerful card. He's not, he's nowhere like a, the A tier cards or anything. I, I say this whenever I see somebody playing hit monkey, I feel the same way that I feel when somebody's playing daredevil. I'm like he's there. Um, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. Right. You know, info is very good in this game. Cause cause on turn five, you get to know, do I need to stay or should I go? And then you snap and then you go. You know what I mean? That's 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 crazy, right? Is that do you not know the like value in that? Because because you can you can literally be like, yeah, I'm gonna win this game now. And you know that on the by the end of turn five. And I and I think that's gonna end it for my tier list. I mean, to me that that just that's the tier list. Yeah, this was fun. It's been a long time since I've actually made a um, uh, tier list. So this was pretty fun.